Good morning. Today is the first day of June in this 2023 year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we've got a beautiful day today. A little bit of wispy clouds in the sky, but a lot of blue. A little breeze going outside, and we're just thankful for the blessings of a new month on our journey around the sun. I uh, hope you're beginning uh, your day in a good way and uh, finish it in an even better way. Uh, a prayer by Martin Luther. Dear God and Father, we thank you for your infinite goodness and love to us. You do continually keep us in your word, in faith, and in, and in prayer. By this we know how to walk before you in humility and in fear. By this we are proud of our wisdom, righteousness, skill, and strength, but glory alone in your power. You are strong when we are weak, and through our weakness you win daily and gain the victory. We pray for you to so nurture us that we may be to you as beautiful, pleasant gardens so that many people may enjoy our fruits and be attracted through us to all godliness. Write into our hearts by your Holy Spirit whatever is abundantly found in Scripture. Let us constantly keep it in mind and permit it to become far more precious to us than our own life and all else that we cherish on earth. Help us to live and act accordingly. Do you be praise and thanks in eternity. Amen. <clears throat> From the sixth chapter of St. John's Gospel, because of this, many of Jesus' disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. And Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, for he, though one of the twelve, was going to betray him. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Martin Luther writing in a devotional entitled The Strength of God's World, Word. Yes, Peter, you speak the truth. This is written as a comfort and an example to us, and that is, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Though one of the twelve would fall, which in itself is an important lesson to us all, God upheld Peter. Everything rests on God's grace, power, and word to such a degree that we cannot even trust the apostles. Though one of them claimed he was so strong that he would never fall, he couldn't make it unless God blessed him and said, I have chosen you. The reason the apostles were able to prevail was because Christ said, I have chosen you. Though Judas would fall and remain fallen, Peter, in contrast, was held so tightly by God's word that he wouldn't stay down. And when he stumbled and fell, he stood up again. You must realize that God allows people to stumble so that they will despair of trusting in themselves. God is the one who stamps out inborn, inborn arrogance. Moses, Aaron, David, and others fell, yet they found their way again. Scripture says that though people fall, God's word will remain firm and never fall. Anyone who falls will be able to stand up again on the strength of God's word. Judas, the one who betrayed the Lord, was the first to, to defend. He was the one who brought harm to God's kingdom, even though he ranked above the other apostles as overseer of the finances. If I or someone greater should fall, May God protect me from that. It would certainly be scandalous. 
But we should stand firm and rest on the foundation of the word Jesus said, Have I not chosen you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. John 6, verse 70. This example shows us that we cannot rely on people, but we must lean, learn to depend on God's word. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the blessings of the night's rest and the new day that dawns before us, for the opportunities that you give to us to stand firm in your word, to be examples for others of faithfulness, to show others the righteous and good way of life that you have revealed to us in your precious word, your word who is Jesus. Help us to cling to him alone to stand firm in our love and care for one another as he has so done for us. We thank you for the opportunities that lie before us in each and every moment to be a better reflection of who you are to this world. Let us be those examples. And when we fall and when we fail, when we err and when we stray, let us know that you will lift us up by the promises that word has revealed to us <clears throat> in your son Jesus that he wishes not to lose a one of us we ask your blessings upon this world that is broken for the peoples that struggle to govern in right and good ways for the nations that are in peril the Sudan and Ukraine by the threats and the reality of war and hatred we ask that you bring peace and resolve in the Middle East and other places that, that know conflict. And we ask your hands of healing to rest upon all for whom we would intercede this day. For the Reebok family in their great time of grief, for Nancy Scholl, for Evelyn Ragg and Evelyn Tompkins, for Elaine Wilson, for Miriam Martin, for Tom, for Nikki, for Lisa, for Linda Miller, for Linda Danley, for Jenny Slick, for Jocelyn Bain, for each that have walked in the light of your love and seek your well-being and healing, whom we remember before you now. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and bring you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.